doors are open. Oh, look at that. Doors repaired and closed immediately. Hell yeah. This is what we needed. Thank you, CIG, for this. Welcome, my fellow citizens. We are in Star Citizen 4.5 again. We are testing one of the coolest ships in the game, the Harbinger. This thing has a massive armor now, it has all ballistics and it's perfect for engineering. Now this patch has VR enabled and for some reason I have horrendous FPS. Right now in, in space is 120 but you will see when I'm on planet I'm struggling to keep at 30 or 40. So I hope that CIG fixed this in the tonight's build and we're gonna go and see what we can do with this ship there are a lot of new patches updates so i'm gonna go with you through them while i'm flying to the location let's have fun citizens critical timer for the power plant doubled this is really needed so once your power plant is going critical now you have more time to get it out of the ship throw it away or fix it now there is a huge change only the power plant will receive damage now. No other components and thrusters when a critical part such as the ship hull reaches zero health. This is major, major, like, this is huge. Before, like, your coolers will die, your ship will explode. Now, only power plant. This makes a star citizen now much, much better place for the engineering. It makes it, as I said in my last video, a perfect as it was before just adding ability to be able to fix your ship without any problems and continue the fight they also increase drastically shield regeneration and health for the s2 shields over 119 percent which is huge but still in my opinion not enough for example if a gladius have two fr66 shields which are 2900 it will have almost 6000 hp and one FR-76 is 9,000. So it's only 3,000 more, for example, for the Guardian against Gladius. So S1 shields had to go down, in my opinion. They also fixed ship balancing for the capital ships. And they also increased uh, Idris M and Star Lancer tuck armor. It's a little bit more tougher than a normal variant. Now here comes something very interesting that I've talked in my last video and I said I wish the CIG fixed this. And they did. Look at this. Breach doors and ramps do not reset after the vehicle has been repaired and the player is unable to close them. We're gonna fight the Countlet mission and see how far we can reach. As you can see my ship is fully ready, prepared. I have all components civilian grade A only the coolers are military stock and the weapons are stock all right send us the enemies a little bit of seven A's Problem with these weapons, they are not the same speed, so I have to have some problems with hitting these ships. And there's a desync, but still, we managed to kill him. Whoa. A lot of parts. Ooh. God, this ship is deadly. It's very precise. One thing I don't like about engineering, it's very, I repeat, very hard to soft kill ships in engineering. Maybe it's because I'm using ballistics and maybe with the lasers or canyons would be easier. I don't know, we have to test that. Maelstrom is not here, but parts are flying, which is nice. Kill. 
Got him. What are you even doing? They are eating very fast ammunition, so I think this ship needs a buff in whoa in number of ammo that it has. It's pretty low, 300. Barely enough to finish this mission. This would be probably faster because of the desync. This is a little bit hard. Oh, what the hell! He's two kilometers away from me. This patch is horrendous. I hope the new one will fix this. Alright, for the next mission I have picked up my shiv, same, civilian components, stock weapons. I want to see how this thing acts, because this thing has a lot of ammo, look at this, 10,000. And the poor harbinger has only 350 or something, so really really bad, they have to buff that. Alright, let's have fun with the little shiv. Oh, these shreds. These guns have a lot of less DPS, but they are tremendously strong. Well, a lot of ammo. We got him. Oh, that missile. Oh, damage me, really good. That That's good. I want to see how this ship reacts when the engineering is introduced. At least it can shoot longer before they overheat. Got him. Damn, those size 2 shields are now powerful. A lot of work to get them down. They are going. And also there is a DC, so the damage is a little bit later applied. This thing is raining power as hell. Whoa. When he hits me, wow. Got him down. And the last ship for today is Firebird. Let's go. I'm gonna get him down. Nice. So I have to tell you, engineering is definitely increased time to kill. And I like this. I like this so far. That missile really shook me up. Let's see what kind of damage he did. So here, cool, okay, it's damaged still. The CIG said that they cannot be damaged, but it is damaged. I don't know, interesting. Life support is also damaged. Ah, only critical damage, sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay. All right, let's check out. So my armor is gone, hull is gone, cool existing 54%. Not a lot of damage. Jump module is a little bit damaged. Okay, let's fix it. Let's fix our ship. So, how do we fix this thing? I don't know where are the components for this ship and how to fix them. I think I have to go outside.
because everything is inside working as it should be. Okay, hole fixed. There we go. Where are the components? Nobody knows. I'm gonna just fix everything that I can from outside. Well, that's it. I think we fixed it. Whoop. Shiv is very limited in way of fixing because you cannot locate the components, they are inside. I'm ready. Shiv is ready. Not the Connie immediately, let's go for the smaller ones. Okay, we avoided this missile. Or I'm not. Why are they shooting so much missiles? So many missiles on me. Wanna fight the small ones then big one. I am Gladius is tough. He's dead. Connie, wow. David stays with those size fives. Run away, my shield is down, hull is down, everything is down. Need to regroup. Alright, time for the big target. We have to stay on the tail of the Connie to kill it. That's even possible because it has also a gunner. Oh, it's not a friendly. Rain on it. Ooh, my ship is getting red. Oh my god. Gunny is tough now. Good luck with the smaller ships again, the big ones. Especially if they have turret gunners. Damn, that ship has a huge armor. Look at it. After all of this fighting zero damage on it. My shield is gone. My targeting is bugged. Oh my god. And I died. I hit the asteroid. <laughs> well, no fixing after this. 100%. So I'm back at the Microtech. Look at the FPS here. 27. Horrendous. Horrendous. I don't know what's happening with this build. Hopefully tonight's build will fix this. Anyway, 
no amount of engineering will save you from the crash like it happened to me and i think the ships are now really nice the gameplay feels engaging just like in the 4.4 but you are not in a risk like before having fire and constantly running around the ship you can fix it easily love this kind of approach of cig and looking forward this going to the live what do you think guys about everything especially about the buff of the shields and i'm so happy that the ramp is now finally fixed and you can close it after you repair it thank you for watching this video if you like it don't hesitate to subscribe like and share until next video have fun out there